hello hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel if you're a news if you just stumbled upon this my video for the first time please 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 do not just continue subscribe share like before you continue and you are highly highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber oh this really really mean a lot to me and if you've not subscribed yet please guys please and please do not forget to subscribe share like this video and turn on the notification so you get notified each time i post a video now before i continue the uh, what we have for this video i'm going to be in those of you that have a lot of problems for uh accommodation because i know accommodation this this is so so hard it's really really hard to for you to get accommodation for your let's say visa thing or i don't know any accommodation at all so if you are if you know you're coming to europe you're coming to uk you're coming to you going to us and you're having difficulties in uh, uh let's say booking an accommodation there is this platform called called amba it's like they have a lot for you to to choose a lot of options they have they are they are all over europe all over the world where you can choose your accommodation from i'll be putting the link in the uh, in the description box for you to go and check it out if you have a, either short-term accommodation long-term accommodation they are there for you most, i have most people like there's one girl who actually there's she's a youtuber i'm not gonna call the name but she actually got accommodation through this platform so if you are having a, like problems booking accommodation or look all it's really hard i don't know it's really hard these days to get accommodation but don't worry amber got it covered and it's really straight straightforward all you have to do is just go to click on the link search your maybe university or your country or any seat or a seat specific city and you will see several uh, options so yeah that is that about accommodation so uh, for today's video as you already guessed I will be talking about proof of funds like this video I want to target proof of funds so in case you're looking for how much you should have in your account before coming to Czech Republic you will just see this video tag proof of funds so you don't need to like start because i actually talk about proof of fun in some of my videos but they are not, not most people would not know because i never tagged the video proof of funds but today i'm tagging this video proof of funds so if you have any question on proof of funds you want to know how much you should have in your account if you have a sponsor if you don't have a sponsor if already paid your tuition fee if you've not paid your tuition fee please guys stay tuned to the end of this video and you'll be very very favorite and you will be i think educated oh i don't know you would know by the end of this video how much you should have in your account please some people say uh i don't know if you guys can understand what i'm saying because some people say i fake accent so please bear with me if you don't understand my accent this is how i speak thank you so if you know if you don't understand what i'm saying you can also put it in the comment section. Then I will try as much as I can to speak my Nigeria. But that normally, this is how I speak. This is how I talk. Now, like this is how they talk. So, thank you, guys. Now, how much do you really need for tuition? How much do you really need as proof of funds? Let's find out. Get your pen, get your bio because we'll be doing some calculation so first of all i'll be talking about you the the proof of funds you need without sponsor like if you don't have a sponsor let's start first of all the your the embassy require you to have a minimum balance in your account that's why they call it they call it minimum balance for a reason they do not call it maximum balance because if it's minimum balance that is that is what you should have at least in your account but that does not mean that is what they actually need you understand i don't know if you understand but let's continue if you don't have a sponsor and you have not paid your tuition yet you've not paid your tuition fee you've not done anything you just got your admission letter you want to come to check Republic. 
this is what you should know about first of all your tuition fee should be in your account that is number one thing since you've not paid your tuition, your since you've not paid your tuition fee it should be in your account number one i don't know how much your tuition fee is for example let's say your tuition fee is three thousand euro or three I'm, i'll be using usd three thousand usd for example i don't know some people tuition fee might be lower some people tuition fee might be higher so that is a tuition fee now your health insurance like i said i don't really know the specific amount they charge for health insurance health insurance they calculate it based on these three categories or three things i don't know number one is your age your age number one number two is if you're coming here to study or if you're coming here to work there's another there's a price for that number three is if you're either a female or a male there's a way they calculate it so that is how they calculate it. so i cannot really tell you this is your deal this is how much they pay for health insurance i cannot say i'll be putting the link of to how to for you to to, to try to calculate your health how much you'll be charged for your health insurance i cannot really say this is how much they charge for health insurance okay now that is now i'll be just i'll be taking one just one figure like one i don't know amount general for general oh my god generally i'll be taking one amount your t your health insurance might be higher or lower than that now let's say for example your health insurance is 15k 15k i do not say 15,000 naira. when i mean 15k i'm talking about 15,000 check crown and as of today that i'm making this video 15,000 check crown is 750 usd it might be lower when you want to buy or it might be higher so as for as of today that i'm making this video 15,000 check crown is 750 usd now let's say that is your health insurance 750 usd like i said i'll be using just that usd as because most people people are actually asked me to use common currency which i actually believe is they are really right now that is your health insurance another thing you should now take into consideration is your flight tickets I'm not gonna sugarcoat these flights are so so expensive these days you might get lucky you might be very very lucky to get a cheap flight but flights are so so expensive these days most of the people that are coming traveling not even coming to check like traveling general generally they can attest to this flights are super expensive these days when I was coming to Czech Republic I paid 390,000 naira and people will actually say it was cheap to me it was not cheap oh, that was so expensive but people will actually say it, say it was cheap so if it was 390,000 naira was cheap then imagine how when I'm saying it's expensive now imagine how much it would be it might be times two of that price that I paid now I'll be using this uh, I'll be using a general like I'm using 1k USD now as flight ticket. You might your flight ticket might be lower than that or it might be higher than that. So let's say your flight ticket is 1k USD. That's 1000 USD. 1000 USD you add it to your health insurance which is already 750 USD. That is 1750 USD. Now the required amount they want, the minimum balance they want in your account is around 8,000 8, USD so it's around 8,000 USD now this is my institution fuel which is already that one is not you are not even that one is shouldn't be among your proof of form because that is not your money it's your tuition fee so it shouldn't be among that is not its proof, uh, proof of form you are not calculating it uh, uh, you're not adding it to your proof of form it is should be like already in your uh, account now if you add this minimum balance 800 8000 usd plus 1000 for 1000 usd for flight plus that is 9000 plus 750 uh, usd for your health insurance everything is now 9500 usd so you see now please if you want to do this conversion thing don't i would advise you to people that are using 
this Google uh, Google conversion. Please, it is wrong. It's uh, it looks cheap. Oh, it's not that high. Please don't use that Google Translate uh, uh, converter. It's not. It's not. That's not what they use. Please, it's not what they use. They don't use it. So, if for example in Niger in Nigeria, for example, one US is seven hundred fifteen naira. You can now calculate it. How much will nine thousand five hundred USD be? That is how much will be your minimum balance, your account, your proof of fund, plus your tuition fee. That is if you are not using sponsor. I hope you get this logic. I don't know. Is it logic or step or calculate? I don't know. But let me just do some recap. Number one, if you don't have your, if you have not paid your tuition fee, you have your tuition fee in your account. You should have your uh, flight ticket. You should have your health insurance and also your minimum balance. You should have everything like together in your account. This is what you can now present as proof of funds. I hope you get the logic. Now, if you have paid your tuition fee, obviously you know what to do. What you just need to have in your account is just your health insurance money, your flight ticket money, and your minimum balance. That's it. You don't need to have any, but if you can have, maybe you have extra money to add. It's not a problem. It's not. I thought it's not a problem. Now, let's say you have a sponsor. A sponsor with a good, like, when I mean sponsor, they can, they will see, they see that your sponsor's account is well loaded, like fat. It has fat amounts. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, I'm joking. But you understand what I mean. When you have a sponsor, please don't just don't just say oh i have a sponsor though so you don't need any amount in your in your bank in your account you do need it please if you have a sponsor you should have the minimum balance in your own account not your sponsor's account like i said in my previous video if you have somebody who is ready to sponsor you that person shouldn't have a problem putting the minimum balance in your account then their own account will serve as sponsor backup obviously the embassy will now okay we now say okay this person have the minimum balance required so this person's sponsor will now be the one who is going to provide the health insurance like pay for the health insurance and also pay for flights they will understand this but let's let's assume you don't have any you have like zero even if it's even if it's one million you have in your account or 500k it's not enough you should have the minimum balance in your account so let's assume you have one million in your account and you have a sponsor you spon they will just assume that this person is really not ready to sponsor you because the person did not trust you enough to send the minimum balance in your account so how can they be like how can they be assured that this person will actually sponsor you something like that i that is what i think they want or they mean because it's it's specifically stated that the minimum balance should be in the candidate's account then your sponsor account to serve as a backup so i guess this video will now give you the exposure will now give you the the clue of how much you should have in your account as proof of funds so if you have any question you want to ask me please put it down in the comment section and i'll reply you as soon as i can and how is my accent is it still okay or do i still need to butcher it more <laughs> i'm really really joking guys but yeah and uh, i'll be stopping here for today before you go do not forget to subscribe please please do not forget to subscribe guys it really really mean a lot to me do not forget to subscribe do not forget to share like this video turn on notifications so you get notified each time i post a video and see you guys in my next video bye